Welcome back, guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Gemini, and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question that I've been getting a lot lately, and that is, how do you sign up for a new Gemini account? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, guys, it's going to be a quick video. There's actually not a lot of steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to open up a Gemini account? Well, that's pretty easy. Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are really popular at the moment, and a lot of people have had issues with their trading platforms, so many of them are switching over, and Gemini is actually one of the more popular ones on the market. And it's all handled here in the app. It's this white and turquoise app right here. If you don't have a Gemini account already, be sure to check my video description. I'll try to leave a referral link there. But I'm going to go ahead and open my Gemini app now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my Gemini app. This is the home screen. Here on the home screen, you can go ahead and search various cryptocurrencies that are trading right now. But if you'd like to open a new Gemini account or sign up for a new Gemini account, you want to click on this button here on the top right. It's a little person icon. I'm going to click there now. Okay, guys, once you click there, then you will have this little pop-up menu. But what you want to do to sign up for a new Gemini account is click on this button right here called Sign In. I'm going to click there now. Okay, once you're here, it's going to ask for your login information. But obviously, if you haven't signed up for a Gemini account, you don't have that. So you want to look down here and click on Create a Gemini Account. I'm going to click there now. Okay, next Gemini is asking the country of residence. So for me, I'm in the U.S. I'm going to click here. If you're somewhere else, just follow accordingly. All right, next they're asking me which state I live in. I'm going to click there now. Okay, next they are asking for my name as it appears on my documents, such as your driver's license. So I'm going to enter that in off screen now. Okay, I entered that information in. I'm going to click this next button now. Okay, now Gemini is asking for my email address. I'm going to enter that in now. Okay, I entered my email address. I'm going to click this next button. Okay, next, you do need to create a password. I'm going to go ahead and enter that. It has to be eight characters, include a symbol, a number, and an uppercase letter. So I'm going to choose that. Next, you want to click on the I agree button as well. Okay, I chose a password. I'm going to click this next button. Okay, next they're asking me if I want to set up Face ID or Touch ID, depending on what type of device you have. I'm going to go ahead and set that up. I'm going to click on yes. Okay, next they are asking to use my camera. I'm going to go ahead and agree to that. Okay, next they're asking me to link my mobile phone number. Usually that's going to be for two-step verification. I'm going to go ahead and enter my phone number off screen now. Okay, I entered my phone number. I'm going to click next. Okay, next Gemini has sent a text message to confirm my phone number. So you'll want to check your text message and then enter the verification code here when you're signing up for your new Gemini account. I'm going to enter mine in now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click next. Okay, next it says welcome aboard. So in order to start trading, I do need to add a funding source and you can do that later in settings. So let me go ahead and click on go to Gemini. Okay, guys, and that is how you can sign up for a new Gemini account. If you need help setting up a funding source for your Gemini account, be sure to go back and watch my other video that describes that in detail. But hopefully you found that video useful on how to sign up for a Gemini account. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.